Hey crafty friends, this is Jenny from crafttestummies.com and I want to share with you some pictures I took in my recent trip to Mexico. In addition to seeing the sights and soaking up beautiful sunsets, I like to see the handcrafted goods that a country has to offer. So I stopped by a handcraft market and I saw these beautiful beadwork. Now these are all held in place with beeswax, which is really amazing and the attention to detail is gorgeous. In addition to that, you have the traditional beadwork, which is done with um, threads, and it's, again, stunning. I also like these portraits done in yarn. They're from the Huichal Indian tribe. And of course, Mexico is known for these bright, vibrant colors. This is a paper mache sculpture I saw. And then they have these little wood carvings that are, again, brightly carved, brightly painted, and they're just a lot of fun. Now, there's also a lot of natural materials in Mexico, so you see things like these carved onyx statues. And of course, ceramics are popular too. And these are just like regular castings with kind of a natural finish. But what they're really known for are these beautiful, vibrant colors. Um, I'm really kind of enamored with, with these patterns and styles and designs. I think they're really, really pretty. Also, Mexico is known for religious art. It's a Catholic nation, and so you'll find a lot of niche shows like these Madonnas, things with Milagros, and, um, you know, ones that kind of combine Milagros and niches together. You'll even find the flaming heart on things like purses and t-shirts. Um, again, beautiful, beautiful colors and designs. Now here's some tin work. These are actually pieces of tin that have been cut apart and then layered. It's a little... Um, more modern looking, but it's still nice. And then you've got the Dia de los Muertos, the Day of the Dead, and there's lots and lots of little sculptures and statues. So if you ever get a chance to go to Mexico, look for some of these things or let that artwork inspire you in your crafting. Now, I wanna show you what I bought. So I bought these gorgeous woven bracelets. Now, these are kind of like friendship bracelets, things that your kids could make but they're just so pretty and so colorful, I could not help myself from buying uh, a lot of them. <laughs> um, I have some ideas of ways of maybe uh, converting these to something a little more adult. First of all, I don't like the tie-on bracelet idea, so I'll probably be putting some clasps on. But again, this is just, it's beautiful workmanship. I appreciate the amount of time it takes to weave these by hand, and so I bought a whole bunch at one dollar us a piece so well worth that money i also bought these beautiful tin work ornaments and um, i really love the design of the star this one has more little pin pricks this actually has little stars punched into it it's also fun because look there's like a trap door here so you could put a little treat inside hang it from your tree this is the little hangy hook and if somebody finds it there could be like a little bit of money stashed inside or a little wee gifty. But um, these were $15 uh, US each. And again, I think that that is well worth the money for something that's handcrafted. So this is my big purchase, um, mostly because A, it's large, and B, it was the most expensive thing I have ever bought on a trip to Mexico. This is um, the Flaming Heart, uh, the Sacred Heart. And this is, uh, the substrate is wood, and it's carved, and then it's gold leafed and painted and distressed, and then all of these little things on top are called milagros. So you can see that there are little, there's the eye, there are cars. Often I see these in their shiny gold. Obviously this has been kind of, um, or silver, and this has been kind of uh, aged down. But all of these little metal castings represent like the blessings of heaven. So when you have these, it's kind of like saying thank you for all of your blessings. And I certainly do feel very lucky and very blessed to be able to travel and bring home some fun things for me and my family to enjoy. So this is going to live uh, over the doorway so that every time I come and go, um, I can remember Mexico and the beautiful handcrafts that I saw there and of course, remind myself of my many blessings. This uh, lovely piece was about $90 US but considering the time and energy that went into it, I am happy to pay that amount. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my little crafty travel video. Please like and subscribe and also click over to my website for more craft product reviews, crafty travel, and uh, even some wonderful craft projects. Thank you again for joining me on my travels and have a crafty day.